Alright guys, it's time for the pantry tour in an RV. This is this, a little overview of our kitchen and our fridge and freezer. This is what it looks like. Just so you guys can get an idea of how little of the space I have. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my RV pantry and kitchen tour and organization, I guess, even though it's not that organized. Live in a travel trailer, so my space is very limited and small. We do make it work. It's just me and my husband, so there's not that much stuff we need, and we shop weekly for the things we want and need for that week so that we don't, like, overstuff our fridge and our pantry. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I'm almost to 700 subscribers, which is so cool. I'm really happy about that. So thank you so much for supporting me. I appreciate it. And let's just get into the tour. So when you first walk in to the door, you have these two drawers and this little tiny door. <laughs> these are pretty deep drawers. So when you open this first one, we have some stuff here and then up here we keep all our silverware okay so over here we have all of our canned goods we have like our beef broth and all of our veggies we have my husband's jelly here and some peanut butter we have our coffee and we keep some pudding filling here and our like little packets like this just in the corner right there tucked there we have some tea bags and some ice trays so that's all for this drawer. Pretty simple. Alright, the next drawer. Okay, so we have some sugar over here. Flour. More flour. Panko. Parchment paper. This is where like all of our apple cider vinegar is. All of our vinegars. And then any like pasta or rice, we just put over here. Got a big thing of quinoa. And I like this rice. I usually don't use my rice cooker anymore. I just use these quick and easy rice microwavable packets. So yeah, that's it for this store. <laughs> okay, over here in this store is probably the most of our pantry. Like this is the pantry. <laughs> so we keep like all of our snacks and breads and chips in this basket. And then over here in the corner, anything like really large like this pizza crust, we just stick over here in the corner. So we take our basket out if we ever want anything like down and below. We just take this basket out, put it up here above on our counter, um, and pick out what we need. So I'll take it down, but we keep our bread on top like this. Our bagels. That's my husband's bagels. I don't really eat those. Um, all the wraps are right here. And then... We have more buns, we have pretzels, pop chips, crackers, and then all of our bars, crackers and boxes just lie right there. And then, yeah, it's just like a stacking thing. When you live in an RV, you need to use baskets and stack your stuff. <laughs> and then just push it back in. Down here, we have this little nook. Um, I keep all of our croutons and more crackers in this little wire basket. And then we have our big thing of oats. We just slide right there. And that is it for the pantry, guys. So up here and this these cabinets is where we keep our bowls and plates. So we have some paper plates, all of our olive oil spray, coffee filters, bowls and plates. And then in this, we have all of our mugs and cups. So then over here, we have three cabinets. And in this one, these are not organized. Um, I wasn't really going to show you guys this part, but it is part of our kitchen. But all of our medicine and, like, um, forks, plastic forks go here. Any, like, drinks we have, sparkling water that can't all fit in the fridge goes there. That's all of our Tupperware. We don't really meal prep, so we don't use Tupperware that much. We're really weird, and we don't like leftovers. <laughs> um, our... Rice cooker, salad spinner, there's a juicer, a waffle maker, and a toaster back there. 
and then over here and the last one is the crock pot and then our bags and a random beach hat is right there but yeah we just stuff the bags there leave the crock pot there and that's all the room we have for up here right and then in this drawer we have all of our pots and pans lids drainers so any kind of like cooking um, baking stuff goes in here we have our gas stove our stove top and a microwave and then in these we just have like random lighters and essential oils and pens <laughs> and then down here is our cleaning supplies and like our towels go down there here on the countertop we keep our coffee in this little jar and our dog treats in this jar we got these both from the dollar section and Target. And then up here is all of our spices. I got this from, uh, I think Dee Dee's Discounts. The spice rack with all of our spices that come in these little glass jars, which I love. Okay, and then on the counter, we usually always have a little basket of these um, mandarins because we eat them a lot and we just like to keep them out so it reminds us to eat them pretty quickly. And then down here on this little table, we have our basket of onions, potatoes, bananas, any kind of stuff like this we put in this basket. Um, sweet potatoes, spaghetti squash, they'll all go here. And then we have my protein powder right there. All right, and then last is the fridge and freezer. So I'll show you guys what's in there. All right. It's as organized as it's going to get. <laughs> it's pretty small. Um, so we got to kind of work with what we got. Top here, um, as you can see, water. All of our drinks go here. Um, more water, coconut water. These are the sparkling waters that I've been drinking. Kombucha. I love this brand of kombucha. So we got two of those. So yeah, any kind of like drinks go up here. Up here, we have all of our shredded cheese and our lunch meats and pepperonis and stuff like that goes right there. And then on this rack, all of our leftovers or anything in containers, I just put right here so I know to finish it up so I can get it out of the fridge. Um, we have two cartons of eggs because eggs are zero points on Weight Watchers. Um, we have this heat yogurt dressing right here just lay it there because it fits <laughs> our milk always goes here um, we have our cheeses and some hummus and then behind that we pickles and more cheese <laughs> yeah. we like cheese I guess and then here we have um, keep like whatever we're gonna make for dinner the protein we're gonna make we keep right here so this is what we're gonna have tonight it's ground beef and then we put our mayonnaise on top of there. Um, anything that can't fit in the veggie bin, I just like put right here. So we have some bok choy and asparagus. And then down here we have our queso and some salsa and marinara that's tilted because it does not stand up. Which kind of drives me nuts sometimes, but it is what it is. <laughs> We have my lettuce that I always have for salads and some turkey bacon. Um, this is like long, so it just goes right up there. This is our veggie bin. We have more lettuce, green onions, tomatoes. I keep my garlic in a bag, Ziploc. More lettuce. So all of our veggies go there and like cold fruit like berries would go here. And then there is the side door. We have a ton of condiments, literally. Um... We have creamer, ketchup, all of our dressings. This is a ranch dressing I make. Weight Watchers friendly. Got sriracha, barbecue sauce, all kinds of good stuff there. Spray butter, mustard, cocktail gravy. You can kind of tell. This is our cheese, all of our cheese. It's ridiculous. <laughs> we got string cheese. American cheese, some goat cheese for my husband, white cheddar for him, um, cream cheese for his bagels, light sour cream, 
It's all like the cheese and dairy is right there. That felt like doesn't have lids, so we have my refried beans with like aluminum on top, some leftover fat-free cream cheese. This is on a Ziploc. Um, I have some nuts and seeds right here in this jar. And then for my oats, I like to put this stuff, the sugar-free stuff in it. So I, we use this quite a bit. So we have those right there. And that is it. Lastly is our freezer, which is pretty stuffed at the moment. But over here in this store, we have um, some chocolate peanut butter yogurt bars, which are delicious. They're five points. Um, my favorite thing ever is this panini with cheese made with veggies. This is so good. And then my husband's raviolis are in this little Ziploc for like when he doesn't eat them all and there's like, you gotta roll the bag up, which I, I can't stand, so I just put them in a Ziploc. Same with these leftover veggies. It's ones where they get so low on the bottom and you don't have enough to make like a meal, so I just start saving them and then I'll like stir fry this all one night with some chicken and soy sauce right there. <laughs> so organized. Um, wow. Okay, so over here is all like the meat and then we like stuff more stuff back there. So we got some fish. We have two things of chicken breast because we go through so much chicken. Um, we have some ice cream for me. This is like Halo Top. I found this at Aldi. It's 280 calories for the whole thing. It's low fat, uh, low fat ice cream from Sunday Shop. They're like trying to mimic Halo Top. So I'm hoping this is really good. We got some light Cool Whip back there and some steak right there. We have um, more beef right here. All of our frozen veggies are up here. We got cauliflower, green beans, Brussels sprouts. My hash browns are right here. Um, more green beans and some fruit. So all the bags go up there. And if we don't have enough room for the meat, we'll put stuff right here. And then the meat goes here. So yeah, that's everything in the freezer. All right guys, that is absolutely everything in my kitchen. Yeah, I hope this was somewhat interesting and you guys got to see like what it's like living in a super tiny space and how we make it work. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.